Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we will learn how we can create a multi-tab app that is connected to a SharePoint list. So I have this list that is showing me a sales report by country for different segment and product. So in this, what I have, I have a first tab that is dynamically showing me all the different countries from my list as in tab. And I have a second layer of tab that is showing me all the segment. So from here, I can easily click on different country and it's going to start showing me data only for that country. I can also select a country and then start clicking on different segment. So the app will automatically filter the data for that country and that segment. So if you want to create something like this, stay tuned. I'll show you step by step how you can create an app like this. Welcome back. So before we start creating the app, let's see the data that I'm using for this app. And you can also use your own data based on your requirement. So in this case, what I'm going to use, I'm going to use this country sales report. So this list has the different entry for different product for different segment, country, product, and some other detail. Now you can have a different requirement, different list, but this method will work in any scenario that you have. Okay, so now we're going to log into the Power Apps and start creating our app. Okay, so I logged into make.powerapps.com. I'm going to click on create blank app, blank canvas app. Okay, give a name and click create. Okay, so the app is created. Now, one thing that we are going to do, we're going to use the tab control. It's a modern control. So to activate the modern control, go to the settings on the general tab, scroll down and make sure that model control and themes toggle to on okay once you do that then you go to the new screen and we're going to select one screen that is available here and screen one we're not going to use it so we're going to delete it okay so our screen is ready now on this main content this is where we are going to start adding our information right but before we add that, we're going to create a connection to our SharePoint list. So I'm going to the data, add data, search for SharePoint. Okay, select that. If you have already created connection, you will see all of the connection here. You can use your existing connection or you can click on the add a connection and create a new one if you don't have it. I'm going to click existing connection. This will show me all the available SharePoint site. I know my list is in this particular SharePoint, so I'm going to select the site and search for my list that I'm going to use for this report. Okay, so country sales report, click connect. Okay, that's good, data connection is created. Now we're gonna add some control over here. So the first control that we're gonna use, we're gonna use the tab. So click on the plus icon, search for tab, and we have a tab list. Okay, select that. We will update the item later on. I'm gonna go to the tree view and I can see my tab control is added. Select on main control and we're going to add another control here. So another tab control. Okay. And then we need a table to show the data. So I'm going to use the table control. You can also use a gallery control depending on your need. You can use either gallery or table. For this video, I'm using table. And you can also select the data source. That's going to be our country sales report. Okay, so it's added now a couple of UI changes. Once you select this table, so this table take the full width. Similarly, I'm going to stretch both of our tab control. So they will take the full width of this container. Okay, so the basic part is ready. Now, if I play this, it's showing me all the data that I have, right? So now what we need to do, first we need to align these tab and dynamically pull the information by country and the segment or any other column that you have depending on your need to show them and then start filtering the table based on the selection that I made okay okay so the first one this is where we want to show the country now if you see here this is taking an array right and if I see the country column here it is showing me all the country but what we need we need the unique countries because we are showing this as a tab so what we're gonna do we're gonna go to the tree view Go to the app and on start 
what we are trying to do on the on start we're gonna query the data source in this case country sales report and get the unique countries in a collection okay so we will, we will create a collection so clear collect okay name of the collection and then we're gonna say give me the distinct source is going to be the country sales report in, in in your case that's going to be the data source name or the list name that you are using and then we're going to select the column okay and i'm going to say dot value okay and why i'm doing this value because in my case country column is a choice column so you know when you are using the choice column it's going to give you an id and a value so i'm using the value okay so this is our first collection that we have created we are also going to create the same similar collection for the second tab that we're going to use in my case i'm using the segment so it's very similar i can copy paste it and give change the name distinct same list and instead of country i'm going to use the segment okay and Generally what happens, once you create anything on App Start, you need to save and publish and when you run the report, these things will load. But when you are testing, what you can do, you can click on these three dots and click on Run on Start, so these query will run. And now if I select this, I can see the data is here in the country and also in the segment, okay? Now we're gonna go to our first tab list and instead of using this predefined array, we're gonna say Object Country. And as soon as you do that, you can see, right, all the unique countries that we have in our list now listed as a tab. Similarly, we're going to do for the second tab and use our second array that we have collection that we have created, right? So now if I run the report, let me save it first. Okay, now if I play the run, I can see all of my countries here, but because we have not connected these tab to the table, nothing is happening so let's go back select the table or the gallery whichever control you have and we what we're going to do we're going to filter the data here okay so i'm going to say filter country sales report country dot value that's the value of the country column equals to tab list one this is our first tab if you rename it use the rename name dot selected dot value okay so that's our first filter and then we are going to do another filter on the segment so segment dot value equals to that's going to be our table list two dot selected dot value okay so you may get this error so what you need to do value dot value okay so remember this when you are doing this filtering tab list one dot selected dot value dot value because these value that we are getting into these tab are coming dynamically from a choice column and now if i'm going to play the app now as you can see here now my table is automatically filtering now you can see if i click on uk enterprise it has no value but if i go to other tab I can automatically filtering the data for the country and for that segment. Okay, so the app is ready. Now we can also add the header and footer. So I have some component that I have already created for the header and footer. So what we can do, we can go to the header component, click on this icon, go to the custom. If you have the header component, you can always add make it flexible width and also for the footer right so we added header and footer for the app of course you can always select your own header and footer i'm going to publish this app yeah so our app is working as we expected i can click on different countries and also different segment and app is going to start showing me the data that i need yeah so that's all for this video i hope this will help you thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing to my channel thank you